I'm going to show you how to automatically mail merge contact information into QR code barcodes, like this one, using Microsoft Word. The contact info comes from an Excel spreadsheet, for example, and the mail merged QR codes will be unique for each individual. These QR codes are in the vCard format, so they can be scanned by most smartphones and added to the phone's contact list with a couple of clicks. Making QR codes can be a painful process, but the trick to making the process quick and easy is to use the OnMerge Barcodes add-in. It's an add-in to Word that can be downloaded from the OnMerge.com website. You don't need to be an administrator to install this particular add-in. There are lots of uses for QR coded contact information, such as ID badges, letters, marketing pieces, and so forth. Each one has specific formatting, so I'll just concentrate on actually creating and mail merging the QR codes. Check out some of our other videos for formatting ideas. To set up the merge, go into the Mailings tab and select your recipients. I've already set mine up, but you can just follow Word's prompts. Once your data source is set up, place Word's cursor where you want the barcode and pop up the OnMerge dialog by pressing the OnMerge barcodes icon on the ribbon. You'll see the barcode setup tab. OnMerge can make lots of different types of barcodes, so click on barcode type and pick QR code. There are other settings for size, color, and various technical options that you can explore, but this is the key one. Click over to the Barcode Data tab and tell OnMerge that you're creating vCard contacts. You could create MeCard codes instead, but more phones support vCard, so that's what I'd recommend. Each possible part of the contact information is listed here, and you can fill in each one with a database spreadsheet lookup or with hard-coded text that you type in. Here I'm filling in most fields from the database and you can see that the barcode is previewing live up top. As I add more information you'll notice that the barcode's grid gets finer and finer. If it gets too fine it'll be hard to scan if it's on an ID badge or something small like that. So I'd really suggest that you omit any information that's not absolutely necessary. For example, at a conference, all you really need is the name, organization, title, email, and mobile phone, plus a quick note to let people know where the contact was made. Once the barcode is set up, you can size it to fit by clicking on it and clicking a corner. You can preview the results, then do a test merge to a new document. Here you can see the result of the merge. Each one of these codes is scannable. That's all there is to it. You can get lots more information at onmerge.com. Thanks for watching.